Good morning. Hi, everybody. It's Tuesday. It is time to get started. We're going to do some Pilates and core work today, and we're going to use a ball. So if you've got a small playground ball or just, you know, any kind of ball will do. But if you don't, don't worry about it. You can use like a big fat pillow or a rolled up towel. Um, you can improvise, but these are not that much. Uh, I've really tried to select equipment that I use in these classes that's affordable. You know, you're not having to buy a big gym machine or a treadmill or a Bullflex. So it's pretty affordable to just put together over time um, your own little home gym there wherever you're working out. So just give you a few more moments. Let's see. I see two of you here. Of course, I don't know which two, but hi, you two. <laughs> And by the way, I did something new. I've never done it before. I mean, it's dumb because everybody does it. Infused water. So I just put a couple chunks of frozen pineapple in a big thing of water. And um, it's nice. It just gives it that perfect amount of flavor. And then you get to chomp down on a pineapple chunk when you get to the end. So that's what I'm sipping on here this morning. All right. <clears throat> so I have two challenges this week, just in case you weren't um, in the class yesterday. And I have a fitness challenge and a nutritional challenge. The fitness challenge is we're doing, well, actually all month, core work. But this week, it's going to be planks. Yesterday, we did a minute. Today, we're going to do a minute and 15 seconds. And then we'll just add 15 seconds all up until Saturday. And then... Next week, we'll just have a whole different exercise to do. So you'll just have to stay tuned to find out what that is. And then I'll talk about the nutritional challenge uh, when we get to the end. But let's go ahead and get started with the plank. So let me show you three different ways that you can do it. So modified on the knees and the forearms. So right here you'll be. And then level two would be here. And then level three, I'm going to do some, just some different things, lifting the legs and maybe lifting the arms. So I'm just going to, okay, make, had to check and make sure the light was still on on my battery pack here to make sure you could still hear me. All right, so are you ready? Let's get in position. Five seconds on your marks. Get set and go. We are planking here. So nice straight body line from your shoulders, either down to the knees or to your heels. And the focus is on your abdominal muscles drawing up and in. Take a big inhale breath through your nose. And on the exhale breath, super contract. Even imagine pulling your elbows down and towards the center, toes down and towards the center, almost like you're trying to scrunch that mat up. You'll notice a more intense contraction. And then again, inhale breath. Exhale it out. Squeeze your abdominal muscles up and in. So if you want to take it up a notch, let's inhale. Right leg lifts up. Exhale, just draw it out to the side. Inhale, straight behind you. Exhale, set your toes back down and fire up your glutes and your abs. Here we go with the left leg. Inhale up just to parallel. And then exhale, breath, move it off to the side. Inhale, straight behind you. Exhale, breath, set your toes down. Good job, we're almost there. You got five seconds, inhale. And then exhale it out. All righty, drop the knees, push back into an extended child's pose stretch. Big inhale, and then exhale it out. All righty, so from here, we're gonna come right up into tabletop position for some cat, cow stretching. So inhale, breath, belly drops down, head lifts up, look forwards. And then exhale, breath, round your spine, draw the belly in, tuck your chin to the chest. Once again, inhale, breath, allow the belly to drop, head up. And then exhale, breath, round your spine upwards, try to pull that navel in. And then once more, inhale, breath. Exhale, breath, 
scoop that belly up and in. So you're really trying to contract all those abdominal muscles with that strong exhale breath. Now return to flat back neutral position. On an inhale, stretch the right leg back and the left arm out. Not too high with the leg, just go to parallel. On an exhale, draw elbow to knee underneath. So you squeeze your ups. Inhale, breath, reach out again. Exhale, elbow to knee underneath. Inhale, reach out and hold it. Exhale, breath, hand and knee down and then just round your back up here. Back to flat back, other side, here we go. Left leg, right arm out, inhale, breath. Exhale, breath, elbow to knee underneath, squeeze your abdominals upwards. Again, inhale, reaching out. Exhale, elbow to knee under. Inhale, reach. And then exhale, hand and knee down, round the back up. Push your hips back, walk the hands farther out in front and just drop your head down to the mat. Big inhale here. And then exhale it out. All right, come on up and find your ball or your pillow or your towel. And what we're gonna do is have a sit right up here. I'm gonna scooch my mat up just a little bit. So feet are at the very top of the mat. You're gonna take that ball and set it right in between the knees. And as we start to roll back just halfway, you're gonna push your knees into the ball as if you're trying to squeeze it. So you're gonna feel some inner thigh contraction, also some abdominal strength and tension from there. So come up, sit tall, arms out. Feet are together there. Inhale, shoulders down. Exhale, roll halfway back as you tuck that chin, pull the belly in. Now give those knees a good push into the ball. So you're isometrically contracting in your thighs. Come right back up again, inhale, reach. Exhale, shoulders down, chin to the chest. Make a C shape in your spine, so you're really rounding that back out to the back. Do it again, inhale, lift up. Exhale, shoulders down, chin to the chest, navel to spine, hold it here. Now when you're here, you're gonna press your knees into the ball, press, exhale, press. Get ready, press it double time, tempo, push, 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 squeeze. Inhale two, exhale two, breathe in for two, breathe out for two. Go four, go three, and two, and one. Come all the way up, arms reach over the head. Exhale, let's go into butterfly stretch. So you're just gonna let your body round over, drop your head. Good, come right back up. This time you're gonna hold it in between the hands. And same thing, so arms reach straight out in front, inhale, breath. On the exhale breath, you're gonna slightly bend the elbows, tuck the chin, round the back, and give a good push into the ball. So you're gonna bring it right to the chest, to the face, up you go. So it's like a big giant circle around to the front. Inhale, exhale, draw that big giant circle. Up and around you go here, inhale breath. Exhale, squeeze your hands into the ball, belly in, round that back, up and over to the top. One more, inhale. Exhale, squeeze the ball, so you're working chest and shoulder muscles here. Also your abs, of course. Inhale. Exhale, this time we're gonna do a little quarter turn to the left, so elbows bend, and again, push your hands into the ball. You're just bringing it right beside your hips, and then come back up, inhale. Exhale, let's roll halfway back, twisting to the right. Give a good push into the ball. Inhale, reach front. Exhale, roll halfway back and push into the ball. Inhale, reach. Exhale, halfway back you go. Push, push, push. Inhale, reach. Exhale, roll halfway back. Hold it here. Stretch your left leg out. So you're gonna push at the same time the leg up and down goes eight and seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Step down, inhale, reach. 
Exhale, take it to the other side. So roll halfway back, twist right, stretch that right leg out. Push your hands into the ball as the leg goes down, up. Eight more, come on. Seven, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Step down, inhale, breath reach. Exhale, breath. Let's roll all the way down to your back. And then walk your feet in and set the ball over here on your right side. Let's stretch the arms over the head here. Inhale, breath. And on the exhale, breath. Arms reach up and over. Tuck that chin to the chest. So you're just kind of gazing right here at the mid thighs. Reach those arms. Extend the legs out long. If that's too much on the back, you just keep your feet down. Just draw the abs in. Go back again. Inhale, reach. And then exhale, breath. Arms reach up and over, chin to the chest, navel to spine. So you can stay here or you can extend the legs out. Good, now set the feet down. Next time we go up, we're gonna stay up and we're gonna scissor your legs just like that. Crisscross back and forth with that very focused, intense breathing. Inhale through the nose, two. Exhale out the mouth, two. So it's inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Nobody can hear you breathing, so it's okay to make noise. Sniffing through your nose and puffing out your mouth. Here we go. Inhale, arms reach over the head. Exhale, arms reach up and over, chin to the chest. Reach hands beyond your thighs, legs out. Now crisscross your legs right here. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Breathing in, blowing out. <laughs> Try to stabilize your core. Pull the abs in. Tight legs. Go eight and seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the knees into the chest. Hug your shins. Rock it side to side right here. Good. And then set your feet down. If that ball is close by, I want you to set it right in between your knees. And then do bring your feet all the way together there. And then go ahead and rest the shoulders and head down. Arms reach over the head again. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Arms reach up. Tuck the chin to the chest. Again, about a fist distance from the chin to the chest. And you're going to stay right here. Now you're going to press your knees into the ball. So we squeeze, squeeze. Inner thighs strong. Exhale. Now we're going to squeeze this double time tempo in and in. So it's breathing in, exhale out. Inhale two, exhale two. Come on, get the head and shoulders up off the floor. I see you resting down. Get back up. Hang in there. We've got 10 and nine, eight, seven, higher up. Six, five, four, three, two, and hold one. Good job. Reach back over the head. Inhale, breath. And exhale, breath. Arms reach up and over. Tuck the chin to the chest. Now this time I want you to stretch your legs out straight. So you may need to reposition the ball just a little bit below the kneecaps right there. And same deal. You're going to press in, press in, press, press. So straight up legs easier, farther that way harder because your abs have to work hard to keep your back anchored into the mat. Press, press. Let's try double time, tempo, go. Push, 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 push. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Go eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it together on one, lift up higher. Good, bend the knees, grab that ball, and just set it beside you, hug your knees. And then just kind of rock it side to side, back and forth. Good. Now stretch your left leg out long and low. Take left hand on the top of your right shin, right hand on your ankle. Now peel your upper spine off the floor. Draw your abs in. So you're just kind of gazing down towards your foot there. We're going to switch legs. So draw the left knee in. Shoot that right leg out long and low. Switch. Left leg out long and low. And switch faster. Let's go. It's inhale two. Exhale two. In. Out. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. 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 
10 more. Come on, nine and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the knees in again. And then just relax your shoulders and head down. Even turn the head a bit from left to right. So you get a nice stretch there on those neck muscles. And then a little rocking motion side to side. All right, so let's do a little bit of bridging just with the feet flat on the mat. So we're gonna use the ball here in a second, have it close by. And if you don't have the ball, you just do it like we're about to do right now. So feet about hip width apart, hands on the mat, shoulders down away from your ears. Take a big inhale breath, let your belly rise up. On the exhale, draw the belly down and in, flatten that spine into the floor. Then from there, you're gonna lift those hips up high. Then lower halfway down and back up. Halfway down, press up. So we inhale here, exhale there. Lower down a bit, press up. Inhale, exhale. So I want you to feel your hamstrings, glutes, and low back muscles fire up. So we're strengthening the whole backside of your body. And squeeze. Exhale up to the top. Down up four more. And three. And two. Can we do this same move? Double time tempo. Drop and lift. So you barely drop. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Maybe a third of the way. Maybe a fourth of the way. Drop down up ten. Exhale nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold it up on one. Hold it. Good, now slowly lower your back down to the floor. And then just bring your knees in one at a time and kind of rock back and forth, side to side here. All right, so find your ball. You can use this other hand behind your head just to support it as you roll that ball. And I want you to look down and make sure that that ball is centered with your body, right? You don't want it off way over to the left or way over to the right. So get your feet right on top, arches right on top. And then just lower the shoulders and head down, hands are here. Inhale, breath. Let the belly rise up a little bit there. Exhale, draw the belly down and in, flatten the back into the mat. And then from there, you're gonna press your feet down and lift your hips up. So if you don't have a ball, you're just on the floor, just like before, ready? Let's lower those hips halfway down, press up. Inhale, exhale it, lower down, push it up. Lower down, press up. Inhale, exhale. Let's go four more this pace. Three more. Last two. Let's go same move, double time tempo, drop, lift. So maybe lower only a third or a fourth of the way down. Press up to the top, push, push. Down up 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, hold it up on one. Now I want you to stay here. See if you can let go and balance. Arms reaching up to the ceiling. Push your hips up another inch, inhale. Exhale, lower the spine down, 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 down. Good, now grab your shins and then rock it side to side again. Oh, you should have felt something right in there, right in there. All right, so we're gonna do one more set. So if you are on the floor, how you're gonna do it is the feet are just together, kind of almost in that butterfly stretch. The knees stay open as you lift the hips and lower. On the ball, same deal, just a little harder to balance because that ball is very unstable. So again, look down, make sure that ball is centered with tailbone, spine, head. So come on down, hands on the mat. Take an inhale breath, let's open the knees up. Exhale, draw the navel down towards the spine. Then from there, you're gonna lift your hips up. So legs stay open, lower down a bit, press up. Inhale, drop, exhale, push. Inhale, exhale. Let's do one more slow. Now double time, tempo, go down up. Press it up, push. Push, hips lift to the top. Exhale, push, exhale, push. 10 more, and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, hold it up on one. And then if you can, see if you can let go and balance, arms reach up. Take a big inhale breath here. And then exhale breath, lower your spine down, down, down. Good, bring the knees in. And then again, rock it side to side there, kind of back and forth. All right, so take that ball, wherever it is, push it aside. We're gonna do some scissors with your legs. So right leg drops low, left leg comes in, right hand behind the ankle, left hand behind the knee. This bottom leg, it does a little double bounce like that, and then you switch the legs. This one just comes in, that one does a little double bounce, and then you switch. So we're gonna go inhale for two on one side, exhale two on the other side. Keep your back pressed into the floor, don't let it arch away. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. So we're going half tempo here, let's get ready. Speed it up and skip the double bounce. Just scissor smooth. Left and right, drop and drop and switch. Switch, go eight, go seven. Come on, six, chest up higher, higher. Four, three, two, and one. Both legs straight up and then lower down. Bend the knees, rock it side to side here. All right, so grab underneath. You're gonna rock and roll front to back. And eventually, rock and roll up to sit, but balance on your sit bones here. Hands on your shins, legs are opened. This is called open rocker. So the goal is to roll back just to the tips of your shoulder blades and then come right back up. And find your balance right here on this spot. Are you ready? Here we go. Shoulders down, chin to the chest. Exhale, breath, round the back. Just to the tips of the shoulder blades and then back up. When you come up, find a spot to focus on right there in front. Go again, exhale back. Inhale, breath up and hold it. Exhale, breath, roll back. Inhale, breath, come on up and hold it. So if that's pretty easy for you, I want you to try to straighten your legs out and do it in a V-sit like this. So the going back part's easy, the coming up and balancing there is the trick. So here we go. Round that back, pull the abs in, exhale on the back. Inhale as you come up and hold it. Oh, so there's gonna be a little bit of that. It's okay, that means you're working hard. Those muscles are firing up, trying to find balance. So do it again, exhale breath, scoop the belly, roll back. Inhale breath, come up, hold it. And again, exhale breath, roll it back. Inhale breath, come up and hold it. How about a yoga toe lock? So grab your big toes there with your two fingers. You don't have to. You can keep your knees bent or do it the way we just did. Exhale breath, roll it back. Inhale breath up and hold. <laughs> it's tricky. Do it again, roll it back, exhale. Inhale breath up and hold it. So you really wanna kinda nail it, find that center of balance and stay there a second. Then you roll back, exhale. Inhale. Let's do two more of these, let's go. Exhale breath, roll it back. Inhale breath, come up. Ah. Exhale breath, roll it back. Inhale breath up and hold it. Ah. And then bring your legs together, arms stretched out in front, shoulders down. Inhale, breath, arms up. Exhale, float them down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more of those, let's go. Inhale, breath up, up. Exhale, down, down. One more, inhale up. Exhale down. Good, feet together. And then let's go into a butterfly stretch here. Just allow your head to drop, let the back round. And you can just kind of shift a little bit side to side here. Should feel good. All right, so next we're gonna use the ball again behind us here. You're gonna come over onto all fours. So we're gonna do some planks first without and then using the ball underneath the ankles. And if you need a sip of whatever, pineapple water, get some of that. <laughs> All right, so 
Let's start first, either in bent knee plank, so that's option one. Option two, straight leg plank. So you're imagining this nice straight line from your head down to the heels. And then next set we'll do with the feet up on top. But for now, let's just do our regular plank on your marks. Get set, here we go. Lift those hips up. You're either on your knees or on your toes. Take a big inhale breath through the nose. On the exhale breath, squeeze your buttocks. Pull the abdominals up and in. Again, inhale breath. Exhale. One more time, inhale breath. And then exhale, super squeeze your buttocks, your quads, your abdominals, even chest and shoulder muscles, strong and engaged. Good, now just drop the knees down, uncurl your toes, push back into extended child's pose stretch. So that's a nice little prep. I know we did plank at the very beginning, but just it's kind of like telling the muscles, hey, we're getting ready to do this, but we're gonna do it in a bigger way now. So second set, either bent knees, straight legs, or if you've got a ball, I want you to put it right, and again, as you look back, make sure it's centered. It's not over to the right or the left. And you want just kind of the tops of your ankles right there on top. Now drop your hips forwards a bit. Your gaze with your eyes is maybe a foot out in front of your mat. So take a big inhale breath through your nose here. On the exhale breath, push your ankles down into the ball, squeeze your glutes, abs in. Try to straighten your legs out and hold it. Hold it, hold it. Take an inhale breath. On the exhale breath, I want you to pike up a little bit so it's like a little mini micro jack knife. Looking back at the ball there, and then roll the ball back. Come into straight body plank, inhale. Exhale breath, mini jack knife. Hips up, toes are on the top of the ball now. Roll it back, let's do two more. Inhale breath. Exhale, hips up, scoop that belly up and in. Come on, one more time. Inhale breath, straight body plank. And then exhale breath, press feet down in, and hips up, hold it. Inhale, straight body plank. Exhale breath, drop your knees, feet go around. Push back into child's pose stretch. All right. We're gonna do one more set on the ball. So just take a little breather, maybe bring your head and chest up here. Big inhale breath. And then exhale it out. So a lot of the time, I am just simply reminding myself to breathe, but I know all of us do it. We unintentionally kind of do what's called a Valsalva maneuver where we go, you know, you're like you're concentrating and thinking and trying so hard muscularly that you tend to, like, it's called Valsalva maneuver because you're forcing the glottis closed in the back of the throat there and then it raises blood pressure. Not good. So don't do that. <laughs> Breathe, breathe, breathe. We want to oxygenate the body. And it's nice to have plants in your room, wherever you are. You know, they, they give us oxygen. And they're like natural indoor air pollution cleaner uppers. So get yourself some peace lilies or ivy or any, any kind of plant. Green plant will do. Okay, so let's do our second set. You like, uh, this is not like really traditional Pilates music. <laughs> but... Who cares? It's fun and it gets me going. I hope it gets you going. All right, so ankles right on top of the ball. Come into your plank. And again, you can do bent knee on the floor, feet on the floor, or ankles on the ball. So big inhale breath to prepare. On the exhale breath, squeeze your abdominals up and in. Fire up your glutes, strong chest and shoulders. Straighten your legs out. So here we go, inhale breath. Looking about a foot in front of the edge of the mat there. Exhale, hike your hips up, little micro jackknife. We're gonna do these a little faster. Inhale, straight. Exhale, hips up. Straight and lift. Inhale there, exhale here. Here we go, four more. You can do it, come on, finish strong. Three, inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, hold it up on one. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Good, slowly, slowly, slowly roll the ball out. And then drop your knees, trap the ball around 
And then push back. Inhale, breath. Exhale it out. All right. So from here, swing your feet around again to the front of your mat. So you got two more kind of styles of exercises to do using the ball. And then we're going to finish with some leg stuff. So this one, I want you to sit up nice and straight and tall first. And then just roll that ball right behind the back. Put it right there. And then just start to pull your navel into your spine. Start to push your low back into the ball. So you're kind of smushing it. It actually should be kind of comfortable here. Like you could just maybe watch TV. Not that we're going to do that. We're not going to watch TV. Okay, so now separate your feet kind of wide so you've got a nice, wide, stable base. Now, I want you to even pull the navel in more strongly and then lift your hips up off the floor and then slide forwards just a tiny bit. Keep your hips lifted, but if you have trouble with that, go ahead and set those hips down. But what I want you to do is keep those hips lifted up. Extend the arms beyond the thighs. You're going to lift up just a little bit. Drop back. Exhale on the up. Inhale back. Lift. Drop. Every time you come up, think navel to spine. Think of pushing the ball around with your low back. Do not let that ball push you around. You be the boss of it. You kind of smush that low back down into the ball. And don't let your hips drop or sink. You're thinking about bringing your rib cage closer to the pelvis. So you're shortening like an accordion the distance between these two points right here. Like you can see the fabric kind of scrunching up. So just visualize that happening with the muscle underneath. Exhale, reach, inhale back. Now to make it a little more challenging, walk your feet in closer. So now it's less stable. Got this very narrow foundation there. Here we go, eight more. Exhale, seven. Exhale, six. Last four. Up three. Up two. Last one, hold it here. Now fast little presses, up 10 and nine. Exhale, eight, seven. Chin is fist distance away from the chest. How about four more? And three, and two. Hold it up on one. Good, now roll forwards and then drop your hips. Extend the legs out, extend the arms up, inhale. And then on the exhale breath, just go into this nice thoracic spine stretch as you let your arms and chest drop back over the ball. Good, now bend the knees, interlace the fingers, place them behind your head, and go ahead and let your elbows fall out so you get a wonderful chest and shoulder stretch here. Inhale, breath. And then on the exhale breath, tuck the chin to the chest, draw the belly in, close your elbows together, and then just pull your elbows down towards your thighs. A little bit of pressure from behind, so you get a nice neck stretch there. Good, now release the arms out, lift the hips up. Let's just push with your feet to roll back that way. Bring your feet out wide again, so hips are up. Unless it's difficult to do, then just go ahead and drop your hips down. That would be definitely a modified way to go with this next exercise, which is going to be lateral flexion. So think about the bottom side rib coming to your hip. So you're scrunching everything up on this side and then everything up on that side. So either hips are down or the hips are up. So extend the arms out, shoulders pull away from your ears, chin again, fist distance away, inhale here. Exhale, let's reach to the left ankle and then reach to the right ankle. So your chest position remains the same, so it's a little bit of a flex up here. And all you're doing is just reaching, maybe wrap those fingers around the ankle like that, if you can. Might not be fair, because I've got super long monkey arms. So I want you to feel big time contraction there. Here we go, four, exhale, three, two. Let's go faster tempo. So we reach left, we reach right. Exhale, exhale. 
Bring your knees together. So they're resting on each other there in the middle. Here we go. Last 10 and 9. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it there. Walk the feet out. Drop your hips. Stretch your legs out. Inhale. And then exhale. Drop back and breathe. Good. Bend the knees. Hands behind your head. And just let the elbows fall out. Drop your head back again. Good. And then slowly bring your head up. Tuck the belly down and in. And then just lift your hips up and push with your feet. And then from here, extend the legs out. Arms up. Inhale. And then exhale. Reach forwards for the toes. All right, roll the shoulders around to the back. All right, so let's do one more using the ball as a prop. So for now, just put it beside you like that. You're gonna bend the knees so your toes are right there at the very top of your mat, and then just either grab on the fronts of the shins or underneath and roll yourself down, down. So you probably at some point in your fitness group exercise career or just whatever you have uh, done in terms of abdominal work have seen a technique where you kind of make a wedge with your hands and go under your buttocks like that and you do a bunch of different leg things so the point of that is just to kind of elevate the pelvis a little bit to reduce stress on the lumbar spine so we're going to use the ball instead of your hands so you don't have to smash your hands plus it's higher obviously so you're going to get a good bit more lift but the other thing is, it's also, as you know, unstable. So you're going to have to work on balancing and not rolling off the ball. So you come down onto your back. You're going to lift the hips up. I want you to position that ball. Now, I know everybody has different size balls. So depending on your size, you're just going to have to figure out where is a good place for it. But it's kind of right like the tailbone is at the bottom of the ball. And then like your waistband at the top if you've got this size. So hands are here. Bring right knee up. Bring left knee up. Extend the legs straight up if you can. Now we're gonna scissor the legs three times in a row. So here's one scissor, two scissor, three scissor. Now we're gonna do a helicopter so the legs circle around. Uh oh, my wall's in the way. And then helicopter the other way. And then scissor three times. One, two, three. Now helicopter the legs. I'm going to sort of reposition myself. So you circle around and stop, circle it around and stop. I think the helicopter is kind of fun. So just enjoy it. Three scissors go. Scissor one, scissor two, scissor three. Helicopter around and stop, around and stop. Scissor the legs three, two, one, helicopter around and stop, and around and stop. Let's do two more of these guys. Scissor, three, and two, and one. Helicopter, blah, and stop. Helicopter, and stop. Three scissors, one, two, three, and helicopter, helicopter. Good job, now bring your knees together and just hug your knees so the hips are very much up above the chest. Should feel kind of good right here. Just squeeze your thighs into your chest and breathe. Inhale, breath. And exhale it out. All right, so one more exercise with the ball there. So just stay on up. And you're gonna stretch your legs up straight. So what you're gonna do is just lower down, 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 down. You're gonna straddle the legs out and then circle around and back up to the top there. So you're only lowering down as far as you are able to without feeling undue stress on the low back, but maybe about halfway down, right? And then you straddle around and up. All right, so I'm gonna just move a little bit. I keep hitting my foot on the wall. <laughs> is 
so if you can't see some of me you will be able to hear I know all right okay yeah this is way better inhale lower down 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 exhale breath straddle the legs out around and up to the top do it again so we inhale lower exhale straddle around and up to the top inhale lower down down and then exhale straddle around and up inhale breath lower down exhale straddle around and up to the top one more this way inhale lower down so you're trying to keep your abdominals pulled in strong and tight now reverse so we're going to straddle out circle around and close together and then whip the legs up to vertical do it again inhale straddle open and circle around and close exhale breath as you whip the legs back up to vertical let's do two more inhale open and then exhale up to the top inhale breath straddle and around and then exhale up good job hug your knees all right take the ball out and then just roll up to straight sitting here inhale breath arms reach straight up over the head and then exhale breath reaching forwards drop your head down good and then roll it up roll your shoulders around all right so flip over onto your left hip we don't need the ball anymore so coming onto your left hip here and you can stretch all the way out and just rest your head on your arm or prop your head up like that but I'd kind of at least for this exercise rather you not be up here just because the spine kind of wants to go like that and it's you know I mean let's just go here instead okay <laughs> so stretch your legs straight out in front so from the ceiling there's a slight angle I don't know if you can see my hand <laughs> slight angle in the hips top leg up right hand is like a kickstand here and keep this hip stacked over the bottom hip you're going to swing forwards with a flex foot point your toe to the back so it's inhale inhale exhale sweep it to the back and squeeze your buttocks inhale inhale exhale push it away inhale for two exhale sweep smooth inhale inhale exhale push it away three more inhale exhale push it away two more inhale inhale exhale push it away one more time inhale good exhale now legs all the way together one straight line all the way down point up inhale breath exhale flex on the down point up flex down inhale exhale breath inhale up exhale down last four three two one more time now circle the leg with a pointed toe here around eight seven six five four three two other way circle eight seven six five four three two hold the leg up there underneath leg comes up to meet it go eight seven six five four three two now both together drop down up for eight let's go seven six five four three two hold the legs up on one hold 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 and then lower down bend the knees draw them up towards your chest inhale breath right arm goes up and then exhale reach for the back and look over your shoulder if you want stretch out that top leg straight so you get a nice hip it band stretch Good. bend the knees turn back to face the front use both hands to push yourself up to sit and then just swing it around over to the other side and we'll do our left leg so come down either all the way here or prop your head up with your hand just like that so initially this leg position it's as if your feet are towards the front edge of the mat imagine there's a vice standing right over your hips so they don't rock and roll from front to back so remember in pilates a lot of the emphasis is on what is not moving or not supposed to be moving while you've got all these other moving parts 
So let's park this left hand here. This is kind of like a kickstand. Engage your core. Flex your foot, ready, go. Inhale, swing to the front for two. Point your toe to the back and squeeze your buttocks there. Let's go, inhale, inhale, exhale, push back. Inhale, inhale, exhale, push to the back. Inhale, inhale, exhale, push away. Last four reps. Press it back, and three. Press it back, and two. Press it back, and one. Press it back, now legs all the way together. Inhale, point up, flex down. Point up, flex down. Notice the ankle articulation, pointing and flexing. Last four, inhale, exhale. Three, two, one more time. Inhale, exhale, now point your toes. Circle backwards for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other way, circle eight and seven and six. Five, tight here, four, three, two, hold your leg up on one, underneath leg comes up to meet it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold the legs together on one, both drop, down, up, eight, seven, six, five, come on, four, almost done, three, two, hold it up on one and squeeze the heck out of those inner thighs, tight, 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 hold it, and then lower down, bend your knees up towards your chest. Extend the left arm up to the ceiling, inhale. And then exhale breath, just reach for the back, look over your shoulder, drop that left shoulder down. And then maybe straighten out this left leg, just to increase that IT band hip, TFL stretch, and breathe. All right, bend the knee, turn to face the front, and then use both hands to push yourself up to sit. And then you're gonna take this left foot, set it either in front of your shin, in front of your knee, or all the way over here in front of your thigh, and then bring the sit bone down. Try to square your hips, chest and shoulders to the front, and then just pull that thigh in. Hug your knee this way, or you can even park your arm there like that. Left hand goes on the mat behind you, inhale, lift up. And then on the exhale breath, rotate around to the left, look over your shoulder. Stay there, inhale. And then exhale it out. Good, and then just return to the front. Hands behind you, rock back. Here comes your Las Vegas showgirl move. Wee <laughs> And then sit this way. So now your right foot is here in front of this side. This heel underneath this glute. Hug your knee either like that or park this elbow on the outside, hand is up. Right hand on the mat behind you, inhale, sit tall. Now exhale, rotate around to the right, look over your shoulder. Draw the belly into the spine. Stay there, inhale, breath. And then exhale it out. Good, and the release to the front. Good job, and then rock back. And then we're not doing the Las Vegas showgirl thing. We're just gonna come up into tabletop and you're gonna let the back arch and head up here. You let the back round, head down here. Inhale, breath, back arches, head up. Exhale, round that spine, chin to the chest. Okay, now walk your hands in and then just bring your head and chest up here. And then shoulders roll around to the back. Set one foot in front like that, hands on that thigh, tuck your toes under and back, and then this is a great way to stand up using both legs for strength. Inhale, breath, sweep both arms up over your head and then interlace here. You're gonna exhale, push the arms straight up, and then a little side bend over to the right, bump your hips to the left. Inhale, breath up. And then exhale, breath, side bend to the left, hips bump to the right. Good, inhale, breath up. And then exhale, drop those arms down behind the back. So you're gonna interlace the fingers together, chest out, chin up, and then push those arms away if you can. Inhale, breath. And then exhale, breath. Bring the hands together, bend the knees, and pull the abdominal muscles inwards, hollow out through the chest. Upper back stretch here. 
good. Inhale, breath up to the top. And then exhale, lower down. And then shoulders roll around to the back. All right. So how do you feel? Kind of just warm and tight and strong in here, hopefully, right? So let me just show you real quick. If you did by chance miss yesterday, just wanted to give you um, an update. And if you were here yesterday, it's just a reminder. And if you did eat your two fruits and your broccoli yesterday, then I want you to message in here um, and just let us know what you had and what interesting recipe maybe you came up with. But the challenge is just to get more produce in your diet. And like I said yesterday, many of you are very good at this. You probably do it already. Um, you know, the recommendation is five to seven, you know, sometimes it's like 12 servings of uh, plant-based foods, meaning fruits and vegetables a day. It's a lot, really, if you think about it. I mean, who can eat 17 cups of this or whatever? But I prefer this kind of uh, broccoli. It is frozen, so it's not going to be the same texture, obviously, as fresh if you wanted to dip it in something. But it's great for soups, for stews. Um, I mix it in with all kinds of things, even uh, omelets. Um, and then the other was, of course, the fruit. So I have little clementines and an apple. And if you do, by chance, not get the organic apples, then one thing you can do is just set this down inside like a large coffee mug and then just pour boiling water over it. I know it sounds weird, but it literally melts off all of the ALAR, the pesticides that are coating that apple. That's what makes it so shiny sometimes. There's sort of this waxy, yucky stuff on there and you don't want to eat that. I mean, you could just peel it, but if you just pour boiling water over it, then you've pretty much cleansed off um, in an easier way than, you know, scrubbing it to death with soap and a sponge and all that. So this week... Two fruits and some broccoli. If by chance you like broccoli sprouts, that's even more potent. So there's a, a component called sulforaphane. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. But it's really like the initial, like second or third day of broccoli seeds that are sprouted. It just It is just packed, chock full of phytonutrients. And, you know, broccoli is a cruciferous vegetable. And so those have been shown to help prevent cancer. And there's just lots of cancer fighting chemicals in there and we want to eat that. Um, I had grandiose notions of getting my own little sprouting jar and doing it. And I may still do that, but sometimes it's just easier to buy the already sprouted um, at Cox Farms or wherever you shop. Um, if you're kind of in the Duncanville area, I know they have them. So there you go. Those are your tips. Um, we're going to plank tomorrow for a minute and a half. So get ready, and then we're going to do lower body. May even do some more squats, because uh, I'm kind of missing those squats. How, how about you? All right, so have a wonderful day, and enjoy the sunshine, and we will see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.